mm. uh, emerging markets. Mm. Nice positive story mm. in terms of the carry that you pick up. Uh, you get a yield advantage. You certainly, like sitting here in the UK, yeah. that feels really quite attractive at the moment. Is, is it as attractive as it looks on paper? Well, look, that story could have been uh, a year ago. Yep. And, and nothing would have changed. The, the big difference is the valuations. So uh, back then, you at least had a decent real yield. And, and that's, the, that's the, probably the issue for investors because. Uh, whilst they know there's a due process that's that's taking place um, and they've seen it before, they're looking at the valuation and maybe there's better value elsewhere in, in, in EM. So the low for longer, low volatility, global backdrop favours anything with yield. Yep. And uh, given that you've got investment grade credit spread so tight, high yield so tight, people look around for something else. So amongst the emerging markets, one that stands out at the moment is actually Mexico. Yeah. And so those who, uh, who are looking at Brazil may look across the border and think, you know, well, not very far away at least, that, that there's some value. And we're looking at the 10-year segment and thinking that a lot of the tightening is priced in and maybe it's the time to, to invest in Mexico. Um, it is one of our long-term favorite markets, but obviously it's been disrupted in the last year or so. So, so, so that's one interesting thing. The, the other way of looking at EM at the moment also is to realize that you've got this global disinflation and some countries will be more affected than others because of the impact of, of, of energy. And I guess that, that may be a factor that, that, that is, is put into the mix. So um, looking at the inflation indices, um, it seems that CEMIA is the ones that are, that are most affected compared to other right. parts of the EM world. So again, it, it's a bit similar to earlier in our discussion. We've got disinflation forces coming through pushing down on the main indices and the central banks that may have been hawkish for other reasons have got to deal with this and factor it in. So, so you know, it's, it, it starts to open up uh, some opportunities for investors to look at the front ends where the tightening that had previously been priced in could be reversed. So, 